A long time ago, many people in Taiwan believed in different spirits, gods and goddesses, ghosts and witches. They believed in the god of sun, god of moon, god of earth, god of rock, god of tree, and even gods and goddesses of animals. They believed that when an animal lived long enough, it would possess a strange ability to transform into a human and even devour other humans. Once upon a time, there were two sisters who lived with their parents in a small village near the seashore in Taiwan. The elder daughter is a gil, and the younger daughter is a kim. The two sisters are happy and naive. They are friends of birds and animals. They sing and dance together. Akil, Akil, look at the birds in the sky between the trees. Aren't they happy flying? I wish I were a little bird. There are squirrels and rabbits. They're so cute. Let's dance and sing with them. Look, Akim, there is a great white egret. Yeah, I saw it. Isn't it beautiful? Sister, do you remember the white egret, the song our mother taught us? Sure, I still remember it. Let's sing it together. Let's sing the white egret and dance together. remember the song. Well, the sun is rising. I have to go to town to sell our produces and find out when your father will be home. Yes, mother. Don't worry, worry about us. Oh, I have to see your grandmother too. She is not feeling well these days. Stay at home and keep the door locked. Don't let anyone come in until I get back. You know, the tiger likes to eat children. Don't worry, Mom. We won't let anyone in. We promise, Mom. That's my sweet little girls. Bye, Akio. Bye, Akim. Be careful. Bye-bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. The mother is gone. The sky is darkening. A nasty wind is blowing. It's getting dark now. Oh, Akio, I'm tired. Yeah, me too. We should go to bed. I'm the most powerful tiger in the whole wide world. I can change myself into anything. Let's see what I can change into. My tail is still attached to me. Wait a second. There, I'm a grain on tiger. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just a grain in now. Oh, I'm so hungry. I need something to eat. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Children. Children are so tender and juicy. They are my favorite food. <laughs> I saw the girl's mother leave earlier today. Now they're alone. I'm going to trick them and eat them to fill up my tummy. Oh, a kyok. Who could that 
happy. I don't know. I'm scared. Open the door. Open the door. I'm your grand aunt. We don't know any grand aunt. Who are you? I am your grand aunt living in town. Your mom saw you would be scared, so she asked me to come here and stay with you. Akin, do you think she is really our grand aunt? I don't know, Akio. Maybe we should check and see if she knows our names. If you're really our grand aunt, you must know our names. Of course I do. You're Akin and Akio. Don't be scared. I am your grand aunt. Your mom said you would be scared, so she asked me to come and stay with you. Now open the door. Be a good girl. Yeah, yeah, she knows who we are. She's really our grand aunt. Grand aunt, we're so sorry to keep you waiting outside so long. But mom told us not to let any strangers in. It's really okay. Oh. I'm so tired after the long trip. I need to go to sleep now. Who wants to share a room with me? I'll tell a bedtime story. Me, me. Grand aunt, you can sleep with me. There's a strange sound coming from a girl's room. Grand Aunt, what are you eating? Oh, oh, uh, uh, I am chewing something, uh, peanuts. They're a little hard, they're not good for children. Really? I like peanuts. I want some too. Oh, very well. <laughs> Have some. Come here. I'm going to tie you up now. You stay here. Be good. I'll take care of you in the morning. Akim is extremely scared. She wonders if her mother will come back in time to rescue her. Akim is looking for a way out. Uh, Grand Aunt, I have to go to the bathroom. No, you are my breakfast. How can I let you go? Are you trying to sneak away? If you don't want me to escape, why don't you tie a rope to my leg? Then I'll have no way to escape. The Grand Aunt Tiger pauses to think for a moment. Then she ties a rope around Akeem's leg, holding the other end in her hand, and says, All right, you may go to the bathroom now. Once Akeem reaches the bathroom, she unties the rope from her leg, ties it to the toilet, and escapes through the window. Poor Kyok. I should have been more alert and kept the stranger from coming into the house. What are you doing, little girl? Hmm... Oh, you deceitful little girl. Where are you? I'm going to catch you now. Akeem tries to escape. She starts to run. The little birds are leading the way for Akeem to escape through the forest and away from Grand Aunt Tiger.
You don't have to chew the tree trunk so hard. I am willing to come down to let you eat me. The only problem is that I'm so hungry. If you eat me now, I will become a hungry ghost and I will forever follow and torment you. If you boil a bucket of peanut oil for me, I'll fry some birds up here and eat them. When my stomach is full, then you can eat me without any worry. Hmm, such a smart child you are. That is a wonderful idea. The Grand Aunt Tiger boils a bucket of peanut oil and sends it up to Akeem. Akeem pretends to cook it and eat the birds. Okay, I'm not hungry anymore. I'm ready to jump down now. Grand Aunt, open your mouth. Here I come. Be ready to swallow. What happened? Where is Anya? Where is she? She was eaten by the evil tiger. What? Oh, my poor child. Akim is extremely happy that their mother has returned. She tells her everything, including the part where she killed the evil tiger single-handedly. My brave little girl, let us remember this important lesson. Never ever let a stranger into our home. Well, well.